Okay, so I've played around with Android P, um, the pre, the public beta one, uh, for a little bit now. And I want to show you some of the things that I have noticed uh, in public beta one. And that is the first thing. If you go to display here, where you have your theme, you know how a colorful option, a light, and a dark option. It used to just say default up there, which is basically the same as light. But now colorful um, takes all the colors from Android P on your settings page, and I'm pretty sure some other places I haven't found yet though. Um, but your settings icons right here are colorful instead of your default color that you set and then your icons up here are just white um, so if we were to change this to light um, then we can choose our own accent color and then the buttons up here would be the color that we choose as well as our icons on the settings pane right here would be the color we choose so that is that's pretty cool I like the default just because it adds um, or some I like colorful because it adds some different colors to everything um, and it doesn't, or not everything's the same color, which is pretty nice. We do also have our um, Android P pill here for app switching, so we can hold it and we can scroll. Get rid of that. We can hold it and we can scroll um, two different apps, which is really nice. I love that feature about Android P. Um, you can turn this off if you don't want to use the pill. You can turn it on to the home button, the normal home button, or you can use uh, navigation gestures that are implemented into Oxygen OS. Those are there and working. Um, everything else is the same that we've seen in Android P um, in the previous beta videos that I've done. Um, not too many more changes. They've implemented a lot of the Android P um, stuff into this version of Oxygen OS though. So Oxygen OS is better built for Android P than it was in the previous betas. It has been running very well. Um, it installed very quickly without any issues. I didn't have to do a data wipe or anything like that. All my apps appear to be working. Um, the phone has been running very smooth and very fluent, um, no stuttering or lag or anything like that, which for the OnePlus has never really been an issue, um, so that's that's really good. Um, I would definitely recommend you upgrade to this beta um, if you don't mind a few bugs here and there. I know the uh, Android Pay is not working and a few issues with the Google Play Store saying your phone is not registered uh, may occur or may is not an official Google device may occur, which is okay. It really doesn't affect anything um, and I really haven't seen any any issues with that um, yeah so it says your device is not certified which is the issue um, which that will will affect um, Android Pay and stuff like that or Google Pay sorry um, but everything else like the app updates and everything should work just fine um, you can see I get app updates just fine um, so no issues there very very fluent um, loving it everything's been performing great um, I love the Android P notifications how they're rounded now it's not just the plain squares um, you've seen this before I've made videos on the previous beta so this isn't anything new to me um, but the fact that the public beta is out now that we'll get um, we'll start seeing some OTAs and stuff like that and I'm not gonna have to wipe my device every time I want to install a new version is awesome so I will be back to running Android P on the OnePlus 6 um, everything else is still here your fingerprint your face unlock um, we do have the uh, new uh, sorry, wrong section. Um, the new notifications, the Android P notifications, like I said, um, and your Do Not Disturb settings, which I'm trying to find in here. Let's see, we'll just go here. Uh, so we have your new new Do Not Disturb settings where you can choose uh, what you mute, you can schedule it, um, you can have it turn on automatically, you can add different rules and stuff like that. Um, you can choose what notifications it's going to silence, so no sound or no visuals, or you can do a custom and you can choose you know individually what you want it to do which is a new feature of Android P um, so all that kind of stuff has been implemented into the OnePlus 6 in this new Oxygen OS um, version it is, let's see version of Oxygen OS is let's see if I can find it does not show, uh, oh nope Oxygen OS, so it's Oxygen, it's OnePlus 6 uh, O2 beta O1 um, so it doesn't have an Oxygen OS beta, but unlike uh, the previous versions of the Android P developer preview, where it was just running an older version of One uh, OnePlus's Oxygen OS, like it was running like 5.0.9, something like that, 5.9, um, you're now running your own Oxygen OS custom built for Android P, which is very nice. So everything's working great. I would recommend updating to the beta. I will link it down in the description below where you can read all about it and download the update if you wish to update on your device. This has been Colin with Tech Out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments section below. As always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day.